Welcome to NEO Tariffs. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. The news hit like a shockwave. Moscow and Beijing are joining forces to build a new jet engine for China's C919 passenger plane. This isn't just business. It's a bold political move. For years the C919 has depended on Western engines from CFM International, a GE and Safran partnership. Now that dependency is ending. Russia brings aerospace expertise, China brings industrial scale. Together, they're challenging the West's dominance in aviation. The new CJ-1000B engine aims to break the American-European duopoly. The timing is no accident. Tensions with the West are at a peak. Sanctions and trade disputes have pushed Russia and China closer. This project is a direct response, a bid for technological sovereignty. For China, powering the C919 with a homegrown engine is a national milestone. It's a propaganda victory, proof that China can overcome Western restrictions. For Russia, it's a way to bypass sanctions and stay relevant in high-tech industries. The C919, once reliant on foreign tech, now becomes a symbol of independence. This is about more than engines. It's about rewriting the rules of global power. The world is watching as a new axis of innovation emerges. The aviation landscape may never be the same. This isn't just a commercial deal, it's a seismic shift in global aviation politics. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have projected Western influence worldwide. Now, a Russo-Chinese engine could create a third major block in aviation. Airlines in Asia, Africa and Latin America would have a new choice, breaking the old duopoly. The market could fragment with regions aligning to different technological spheres. Dr. Alistair Thornton calls it a geopolitical game-changer. The West underestimated Russia and China's willingness to collaborate. This engine project is clear evidence of a coordinated strategy to challenge Western supremacy. Western sanctions have failed to isolate Russia. Beijing is a willing partner. China gains Russian expertise in engine design, a field it's long struggled with. Together, they're more resilient to Western pressure than alone. This alliance exposes the limits of economic coercion as a Western tool. The aviation world is splitting along new geopolitical lines. The West must now confront a rival bloc with global ambitions. The announcement rattled Paris and Berlin. Airbus, the pride of European industry, faces a direct threat from a re-engined C919. Safran, France's engine giant, stands to lose billions as the new engine replaces CFM on future C919s. The French government, a major Safran shareholder, faces a tough choice. Germany, too, is at risk. Thousands of jobs depend on Airbus's success. A shrinking market share would ripple through the German economy. The Franco-German partnership, the engine of European integration, is under pressure. Europe faces a dilemma. Confront the new competitor and risk escalation or do nothing and watch its industrial base erode. Either path carries risks. European leaders must protect their interests without triggering a damaging trade war. The stakes are economic and political. Airbus's future is Europe's future. The response will shape Europe's place in the new world order. The Russo-Chinese alliance poses a formidable technological challenge. Russia brings deep engineering know-how. China brings manufacturing might. Europe's edge has been innovation, fuel efficiency, reliability, and advanced design. But the CJ-1000B aims to close that gap especially for price-sensitive markets. If the new engine is good enough and cheaper, Europe risks losing market share. That means less revenue, less R&D, and a potential downward spiral. To compete, Europe must double down on next-gen technologies, hybrid engines, sustainable fuels, and more. The EU may need to coordinate and fund ambitious research. The race is on. Complacency is not an option. Europe's high-tech future depends on bold innovation now. The economic stakes for Europe are massive. Airbus supports over 130,000 jobs in a vast supply chain. The Chinese market, soon the world's largest, is critical. If China mandates the C919 for its airlines, Airbus could lose its share overnight. The impact would ripple beyond China. Developing nations may follow suit. Political allegiance could become as important as price or performance. A weakened Airbus means lost jobs, lost innovation, and a hollowed-out industrial base. The Russo-Chinese partnership threatens to reshape the global market for decades. Europe's aviation future is on the line. For Brussels, this is a nightmare scenario. The EU's dream of strategic autonomy is under threat. Airbus was proof Europe could compete globally. Now that's in question. The EU is divided. France and Germany want action, others hesitate. China and Russia exploit these divisions. 
offering deals to split the bloc. Unity is Europe's strength, but also its greatest challenge. The Commission will propose new funding and trade defenses, but consensus is hard. Europe's ability to act as one will be tested as never before. As of October 2025, the future of aviation is up for grabs. The Russia-China partnership could fail, jet engines are notoriously hard to perfect, or the engine could be good enough for China, splitting the world into Western and Chinese aviation blocks. The most disruptive scenario, the CJ-1000B succeeds globally, undercutting Airbus and Boeing everywhere. Western aerospace dominance could fade, with huge economic and strategic consequences. One thing is certain, the era of uncontested Western skies is over. The Russo-Chinese alliance is a turning point. The world is moving toward a bipolar aviation order. Europe and America must innovate, unite, and compete fiercely. The next chapter in aviation will be defined by rivalry, not dominance. The sky is no longer the West's alone.